And today I want to talk about ribbon organization. I am going to be reorganizing all of my 350 plus rolls of ribbon. Right now it's all in vinyl gutters attached to my wall. As you can see over here, I have already took the ribbon out of here, already getting it organized. It's going to be in a much more compact space. So for Christmas, my mom and dad got me this amazing tool. If you do not have one of these in your craft room, I suggest you get one of these. I know it looks intimidating, but this is a pair of electric scissors. It's called the Works Zip Snip. And this thing is amazing. And it will cut cardboard like a dream. I am not kidding. I pretty much use this like every day to cut stuff. <laughs> they say it can cut fabric. I haven't tested that out, but you can cut a lot of things with this. And you can see it runs like just your regular circular saw. And don't be intimidated by this at all. You, you do not need to. This is how you line up your cut. And I'm just gonna show you right here. You just line it up. And then it's got a little trigger here. So anyone that your hands hurt with just cutting cardboard, trying to cut it with scissors or even a knife or whatever, this tool is amazing. So you hit the, the little button right here and you squeeze at the same time. So you can push down and squeeze. And it's, it's not loud. It's not intimidating whatsoever. <laughs> like I did not know that I was going to love this tool as much as I actually do. So line it up. That amazing. Like, holy, holy, holy. I love this thing. <laughs> thing I have been so impressed this is something I would never have bought myself so I am so grateful to my parents that bought this for me because I use it all the time I love it so much so I've been taking this tool because I kept all my cardboard from Christmas and I am just chopping up little pieces and this is what I'm going to put my ribbon around and I've already got my drawers lined out and I'll show you what cabinet that I'm going to use. I thought I was going to use my Alex drawers from Ikea, but I decided against it because once you start stacking these in there, I'm afraid that once you get to the very back, because you can't pull the drawer out all the way, that you're not going to be able to see the ribbon that would be in the very back. And it would be extremely hard to get to. So I'm going to show you the cabinet that I'm going to put all my ribbon in as well. And this is going to condense it down like you are not going to believe. It's amazing. So the little pieces of cardboard that I cut is going to be two and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And I'm just spooling it on here and I will show you how. Also, if I had any spools that had just a little bit of ribbon on them and I didn't really know what to do with them, I got this cute container at the Dollar Tree and you just slide all your little scraps of ribbon. That's It didn't make any sense to put some of these on a spool because literally some of them's like only this long. So I'm just like smashing them down in here. Color wise, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to have many scraps. So I'm just sticking them all in this cute little Dollar Tree jar. And this is where those are going to go. If you do want to color coordinate your ribbons, Dollar Tree has these cute little craft bottles right now in the Valentine's Day section. And you can color coordinate your ribbons or it if you've got buttons or anything, these are plastic and they are so cute and I should have bought more of them. I'm going to do a craft project for one of my videos, a, Valentine, a cute little Valentine's Day um, craft project coming up in one of my videos. 
and you won't want to miss that but this is so adorable and you could literally color coordinate anything you want in these little plastic bottles and then of course with the sticker that's on it you could do like a cute burlap ribbon and cover this up and decorate it up really cute but this was just too cute not to buy so if I have multiple ribbons, like this is a thin gross grain, it's a blue ribbon, then I would try to put all of this on the same spool to condense it. So it really takes up a lot less room on this than what it does on these spools. The easiest way that I found to spool this on here is just put your finger over it and hold it and then come around and just catch it like that but then just begin to twist it. And by keeping it pinched between your fingers right here, if you see how it's twisting up behind me, it's going to eliminate it to be able to be twisted through your fingers. So it's just keeping the ribbon flat the whole time so you can wind it and spin it around your piece of cardboard. So if you find that your ribbon is twisting up on you, just spool it out every little bit and just lay it flat and continue to wrap. So I'm just gonna secure this end with a little piece of tape just to keep it secure and keep it from moving. And then we keep adding our ribbon of the same color. Now when you get to your loose end right here, I'm just going to gently cut a little slit into the top and just tuck my ribbon right down in there. And that's how we're gonna place it in our drawer. I'm so excited to be taking these gutters finally off the wall. I'm so excited, this looks so good. I am so happy to have it off of the wall. And then to organize the mess down below it, I'm wanting to get a white cabinet that's got doors on it to put there so I can organize some of my glues and things in that. So this is the cabinet that I bought at Hobby Lobby and I have a lot of little things stored in this cabinet. But in these five drawers right here, that is what I condensed my ribbon down to. Just those five drawers in this beautiful little cabinet and if you don't like the colors of the doors on the cabinet you could always paint them or do whatever you want with them but I have this cabinet so I thought it would be nice to store all my ribbon in and some of the colors might be out of place a little bit and I probably need to go through and reorganize it just a little bit more, but I really love that all that ribbon that was on the wall is finally in a cabinet and out of sight. And these drawers, I mean, they pull out all the way. So if I'm crafting, making cards, whatever, scrapbooking, any other projects, I could literally pull the dra whole drawer out and have it right there by my side. And this is how much ribbon ended up going into my cute little Dollar Tree jar. I picked up this little organizer case at the Dollar Tree. And I think I'm going to put some gems and pearls and things like that because I have stuff like this. And it's really small. And I think that I can organize it in here and it's not gonna like slip through the cracks and go over in the other compartments. So I can't wait to check that out. Another organizer that I got at the Dollar Tree was this cute little container and it has a lid on top of it. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna need the lid or not because I thought that I could take my Gorgeous Girl stamps and just like stack all of them in here. So that's probably what I'm gonna do with this case unless I change my mind. But my little Gorgeous Girl stamps would be perfect to stack in here. Another container from the Dollar Tree that I got was this little sandwich compartment thing. And this locks 
really nice. So whatever I put in here is going to be secure. I haven't decided if I'm going to put gilding flakes in here or if I'm going to use this as something that I will sprinkle embossing powders in to catch all the dust and stuff. I'm not quite sure. These could be really nice containers for embossing powders though. So I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided, but these are just really cute little things that I got to help organize in my craft room. All of the gutters are off the wall and I am so happy. It looks so much nicer. And now I have room to put a white cabinet over here that's going to be really nice. I found a really cool one. It's almost like a medicine cabinet with a drop down door on it. So I can actually use that to put stuff on if I need to on cutting with my Cricut. So this is really cool and I'm so excited and it's finally all put away and out of sight. So I'm really happy. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I love reading all of your comments and I will catch you in the next video.